afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to see everybody here. I'm sorry I couldn't get the rain to stop for us just yet. We've got a little bit of a weather cell that's coming through here any second now. We're going to have a brief delay. If you would, bear with us. We made it this far. We'll get through the rest of it. Just hang tight and stay close. I mean stay close as in near the facility, not near one another. Social distancing.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, five-minute warning. If you would, please, we're going to return to our cars, and we're going to try and get this underway. We need everybody in their cars before we can get started, however. Give us just a few more minutes. We'll make it happen. Folks, if you would please return to your car so we can get started in just a minute. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Welcome to this special ceremony as we celebrate the accomplishments and graduation of the class of 2020. A special thanks to Cape Fear Community College for providing this venue. As we join to celebrate our graduates, please help us keep our students, all of those in attendance, our community, and all the people we'll come into contact with after we leave here today safe by following the guidelines established by the CDC, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, our governor, the State Board of Education, North Carolina Department of Instruction. Our graduates will be directed by our staff to come to the stage, maintaining recommended social distancing. We ask that all others remain in their vehicles. We understand how different this ceremony is from any, in the, any other in the past. Those participating are wearing masks and some are wearing gloves as we follow the established recommendations and guidelines to help us maintain safe and healthy environment. When your graduate's name is called, we understand your joy. However, we ask that everyone provide the opportunity for each graduate's name to be heard. Once again, welcome and congratulations to you all. Thank you for your patience. Please help us make this a safe, positive, and memorable time for our graduates. And now, for the presentation of colors by the New Hanover High School, JROTC. Good afternoon, graduates, family members, New Hanover High School staff, administration, and other guests. We would like to formally welcome you all to the commencement ceremony of the New Hanover High School class of 2020. While today may not be what we envisioned, we are grateful to have the opportunity to gather the senior class of 2020 one final time to celebrate their achievements. 
to all the family and friends with us today, and to those who could not be here in person and are watching the ceremony, thank you. To all the teachers, mentors, and community members that helped the graduates get to this point today, thank you. Thank you to the NHHS Color Guard for the presentation of the colors and Ava Johnson for her performance of the national anthem. Today we will hear speeches from our salutatorian, Alexandra Miller, valedictorian, Griffith Warren, and our principal, Dr. Morgan. Following the speeches, we look forward to welcoming graduates to cross the stage and receive their diplomas. Without further ado, let the graduation ceremony for the new Hanover High School class of 2020 begin. Students, parents, friends, teachers, and faculty, good afternoon. I'm Alexandra Miller, and I'm honored to be your class of 2020 salutorian. But please don't ask me how to spell that. Today, very unconventionally, we celebrate the graduation of New Hanover High School's class of 2020. Considering all the tribulations 2020 has brought upon us, is anyone really shocked that our graduation is occurring in this parking lot? However, we should all be grateful to everyone who has worked tirelessly to make this event possible. This year, we were supposed to experience traditions, such as senior prom and spring sports, but we didn't. We were supposed to be in Trask Coliseum, walking across the stage, receiving our diplomas, but we aren't. We were also supposed to be walking the halls of New Hanover just a little over a week ago, but we couldn't. Despite these difficulties, we persevered through these uncharted territories and made it here as graduates. While this year has been full of uncertainty, there is one thing I am certain of. Resilience is now our nature, and we will begin the path to our future as the adaptable, patient, and insightful beings we are today. I do not believe we will only adjust to our new norms. I know we will tackle the inherited issues surrounding us today from the global pandemic we are experiencing to the social injustices we are faced with. I believe the class of 2020 will bring change. We will use our collective voices and compassion to bring change. We will not be defined by what we lost this year, but we will be defined by what we accomplish moving forward. With this being said, I hope each and every one of you will cherish the memories, not only made during our unconventional senior year, but the traditions and experiences we had prior to these past few months. Each one of you has achieved a level of competency and confidence to impact a life, a city, a state, a country, and even the world. While we may be leaving New Hanover High School behind, remember not only the time we lost, but the three and a half years we spent together. With this next step into our future, I would like for us to continue to carry the memory of our classmate and friend, Ann Catherine, with us today. I am proud to stand with you as a part of New Hanover High School's Class of 2020. Class of 2020, I wish you all prosperity and self-growth in your next ventures. Thank you. Thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to say that despite everything that has unfolded in the world over the past several months, I'm very grateful that we could all come together in solidarity. Whether it was in person or virtually, and recognize each other's achievements. Also, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone that came out today to celebrate your accomplishments throughout your high school career. These are the parents, siblings, teachers, and other supporters that took on the challenge of guiding you to achieving a monumental milestone in your life graduating high school. These are the people that pushed you when you wanted to give up, consoled you when you were down, and gave you advice when you needed it the most. I'm sure everyone will agree with me when I say this, that we would not be in the position that we are in today without the help and support from our family, friends, and teachers. My fellow classmates, please roll down your windows or get out of your car if you'd like and join me in a round of applause to show our appreciation for the, to those that have contributed so much in helping you get to this point in your life. Thank you. 
We entered this school back in the fall of 2016, which commenced a new chapter in our lives. For me, going to high school meant freedom. To name a couple of things, I would no longer have to wear a uniform to school or walk in line to my next class. High school sounded like heaven compared to middle school until I learned about Freshman Friday. I'm sure that all of my classmates know what I'm referring to. Luckily, this turned out to be nothing but an intimidation tactic used by upperclassmen making our first week of school exciting. On a more serious note though, we have spent the past four years grinding to reach this point in our lives. It takes a lot of focus and dedication to graduate high school and we have now completed our mission. We will no longer have the privilege of walking the halls of New Hanover or eating lunch in the beautiful cafeteria. Today, we officially end our high school journey and exit as the class of 2020. Our final year, poised to be one of the best years of our lives thus far, did not start out as planned. On August 31st, we lost a member of the Wildcat family, Ann Catherine Browning. This loss was very unexpected and severely affected me and so many other people. AC was my next door neighbor and one of my best friends growing up. Ever since I can remember, AC would consistently have a smile on her face. She always tried to make the most out of an experience and enjoy life to the fullest extent. AC was the perfect embodiment of a New Hanover Wildcat and she will be remembered and missed every day. Unfortunately, our senior year was cut a few months short due to the coronavirus pandemic, but we are no stranger to the disruptions. Just last year, we endured a powerful Hurricane Florence. This hurricane dismantled a lot of our community, causing us to miss several weeks of school. Despite these setbacks, we came back stronger and kept focused on achieving our goal. Although we missed out on some spring events and senior traditions this year, we've accomplished so much and made plenty of great memories throughout the entirety of our high school careers. Our class brought home several state championships and academic awards across many different fields. When you, rock, when you walk up to this stage today and collect your diploma, you are taking more with you than just a piece of paper. This piece of paper represents the friendships you have made, the memories you have created, and the hard work you devoted to graduating from high school. All good things have to come to an end, and with that being said, this marks the end of our high school journey. Many of us have plans to attend college, enter the workforce, or to join the military. But regardless of where life takes us, we will always be a part of the Wildcat family as the class of 2020. To the class of 2020, congratulations, and thank you for sharing this part of your lives with me. Thank you, students, for your remarks. Students, parents, and guests, welcome once again to Nanover High School's commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to follow the lead of the students up here, take a moment to recognize one of our seniors who passed away at the beginning of the school year. Ann Catherine Browning was a member of the class of 2020. And I'd like to believe she's with us today as we celebrate you all. In remembrance of AC, in honor of her loving spirit, and on behalf of her family, friends, and school, I ask you to join me for a moment of silence. Thank you. You know, I certainly won't be the first or the last to speak to the uniqueness of the times in which we now live but I would be remiss if I neglected to at least acknowledge them. The last four months have been marked by an unprecedented series of events, unlike anything I've ever witnessed on the world stage or in our own country. And while today seems too soon to predict exactly how 2020 will be remembered, I feel certain we can all anticipate lasting impacts on everything from the health and financial industries to the job market, the field of education, from race relations to international relations and even family relations from ordering in and dining out, from athletic events on Little League fields to those in Legion Stadium, and all the way up to Madison Square Garden. Suffice it to say, it seems 2020 has had something to teach us about virtually every aspect of our lives as we know it. And yet, here we are, despite the rain. Here you are, prepared to take your next steps, regardless of what the future may hold, to take what you have learned to date and do whatever it is you want to do. My advice, do something positive. Be the beacons of hope we all need for young people to be. 
As you cross the stage today, you will cease to be students at New Hanover High School. We, you will become colleagues in the fight to help make this world a better place. And while everyone may play a different role, we are all in this together. That's why educators do what we do and why I stand before you today. Because we believe that every, gra every Wildcat graduating here today is our best hope for a brighter future. All you have to do is to accept the challenge. Your potential to affect great change is unmatched, and you are only just beginning. If the last few months have taught us nothing else, they have reinforced the need for us to be resilient. Be resilient and work hard. Make a habit of creating opportunities for yourself, and recognize personal growth as a key to success. Practice everyday leadership by treating others with respect and using good manners, because these things will never go out of style. Do your best to do the right thing, even when that proves to be a very difficult task. Remember that your brand of leadership doesn't have to be grand, but the effort should be consistent. It doesn't need to be flawless, but we all need you to be reflective. Stop to remind one another the good times, especially when things get tough, and never forget the healing power of laughter. Finally, wherever you may roam, please know that we believe in your talents, and we look forward to all of your future successes. You are New Hanover High School, and diamonds are forever. Thank you. Graduates of the class of 2020, parents and guests, it is an honor as the principal of New Hanover High School to attest to the fact that the students here today have met all of the requirements set forth by the state of North Carolina and the New Hanover County Board of Education and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas. Furthermore, by the authority granted to me by the New Hanover County Board of Education, I certify and accept the 2020 graduating class of New Hanover High School as high school graduates. Staff members assisting with this procession, please prepare the class of 2020 to receive their diplomas. Emily Elizabeth Hutchinson. Jackson Cromley Hicks. Davis William Hunt. Davion McGowan Aiken. Alexandra Macau Garon. Don't get your card. 
Naya George. Alicia Monique Bright. Jonathan Grant Borneman. Jacob Walker Gosnell. Students, please remain in your car until a staff member dismisses you to the stage. Angel Simone Bowen. Jamie Cornelia Beatty. Valia Kim Beatty. Sierra Samantha Arthur. Jordan Riley Johnson. Peyton James Garrison. Nyasia Marie Gaines. Nyasia Nye Bats. Madeline Grace Hahaj. Fiona Carolina Barrios Aguilera. Caroline Ashton Datema. Edward Deffenbaugh. Sophia Rose Bradford. Claire Barrett Kiernan. Grayson Ansley Harris. Elijah Chiron Talik Jones. Natalie K. Atento. Jack Kevin Dunn. Landon Scott James.
Atlantis, Candida Beatty. Emma Grace Brown. Eric Joseph Doman. Connor Hay Henderson. Diavian Lachey Graham. Jolie Nisai Jones. Glory Gina. Ian Marshall Gatto. Cecilia Ann Johnson. Miracle Ruby Glassby. Austin Micah Corder. Cameron Harris Dukes. Theodore Maximilian Kernker. Benaya Aaliyah Cole. Devin Jonathan Gamble. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please return to your cars if you are not taking a picture of a graduate currently crossing the stage. Please return to your vehicles. Thank you. Ayesha Heaven Dow. Iglesias Montez Dow. Came on, Derquan Jordan. Hassan Amir Jordan. Denaya Adesha Dykes. Shayla Monet Francis Mayo. Asaya Cache Bowden. Zeta Baker. Javon Baker. Jamon Davis. Anaya Ayana Goss.
Monica Bryce Grant. Thomas Terrell Grant. Brianna Michelle Lynn Garrison. Jamaica Anaja Graves. Tykira Edwards. Samira Injire Jennings. Jaheem Tyquel Brown. Zeke Brown. Peyton Bella Brinker. Treasure Tyre Brown. Miles Galen Irving. Imani Kennedy. Jonah Dwayne Koenig. Cavani, Damare Daniels. Genesis, Carolina Iscoa. Demiria Monet James. Anaya Amia Nichelle Colbert Avion Rashad Allen Amirian Jaquavius Hines Serenity Jeanette Graham. <laughs> Kelia Dory Chilberg. <laughs> Megan Riley Ford. <laughs> Malcolm Jaheem Johnson. Alexander Michael Guerin. Robert Dean Brewer, Jr. Ruby Garnica Hernandez. 
Amari Nicole Fullwood. Rafael Casimiro Hernandez. John Paul Holden. Kyla Michelle Hansley. Malik Banat. Jeremiah Wayne Bancroft. Milo Kieran Bain Kenny. Catherine Elizabeth Farinella. Ella Catherine Cox. Gabriella Love Fluellen. Rayanitz Canelis. Isaiah Carter McDaniels Corbett Kira Diane Kelly Diavion Janaya Bryant Kristen Brooke Sonate Akira Monet James Lisa Kamal McBride Barker Chase Patrick Hardy Hunter Mason Hodges John Patton Dedrick Charles Braden Ferguson Sydney Michelle Knox Omar Malik Hargrove Zyquasia Darnay Fogel Brody Isaiah Costin Savion Maurice Hunter <laughs> Le
Lanaya Anasia Davis King. Neely Marie Carroll. Ryan Janae Jones. Aiden Ross Brady. Trayvon Ahmed Harrison. Alexander Wilden Keller. Aaron Wren Abrams. Michelle Bennett. Woo! Logan Alexander Blanton. Electa Bauer. Jackson Woodard Barbie. Christopher Lawrence Boney. Zolly Smith Anderson. Francis Elizabeth Coleman. Madeline Trask Eckel. Mary Archer Boyd. Samantha Jackson Jarnigan. Cooper Nelson James. Perla Cruz. Jaime Jimenez Ramirez. Jabez Lamage Howard. Dylan Brian Crocker Morris. Connor John Hennant. <laughs> 
Tornaja Imani Holmes. Elizabeth Garcia Flores. Nikayla Ariel Davis. Harriet Amelia Haynes. Mariama Regina Glassby. John Clyde Balmacita Russell. Zachary Alexander Craig. Philip Gregory Brummett. Madeline Grace Jaddick. Benjamin David Evan Kaysen. Naraya Ashanti Hooper. Ashlyn LeMay Burson. Olivia Catherine Jones. Good afternoon, class of 2020, and congratulations. It is my honor to be joining you in the moment you have all been waiting for, the turning of your tassels. I won't keep you much longer. I know that you are all anxious to go and celebrate and reflect upon your accomplishments and memories from the past four years. Class of 2020, you are a class of firsts. You are the first to graduate in the middle of a pandemic and successfully come out on the backside of a toilet paper drought. You are the first to create new ways of being social while remaining distant, the first to see the world around you on pause, the first to support your classmates and friends toward the finish line with a whole new host of obstacles laid along your high school track. So, class of 2020, I suppose my challenge, my charge to you as you begin the next chapter of your lives, don't be afraid to be first. You've already done it time and time again. Don't be afraid to be the first in defense of the new, the weak, or the less fortunate. Don't be afraid to be the first voice among many for social change, and be certain to be the first to hold fast to your values and beliefs. Don't be afraid of the first that lie ahead. Adventures, challenges, responsibilities. Remember that winning does not always mean coming in first. Be the first to be a source of calm and consistency for others. Be the first person that others can turn to in times of trouble. Remember to cherish and celebrate the lives of dear friends and loved ones we have lost along the way. 
Yes, the change of a tassel from one side of our hats to the other represents many lasts, but it too is really just another first, another challenge for the class of 2020 to take head on with resilience and determination, so characteristic of the newest class of Wildcat graduates. And with that, I ask you to join me in turning your tassels. Congratulations, class of 2020. May there be many more firsts to come. Thank you all for being here and have a wonderful evening.